today we are taking a look at this this is the blackout spark sl from blue we're actually using the blue microphone today so i'm pretty jazzed to open this up this was a free gift from my other channel but i thought it'd be pretty cool to open it on this channel so i'm going to be sending some of you over here to check it out so if you're from that channel hello and thank you for being here so we hit 100 subscribers today which is pretty cool so thank you to everyone who subscribed it sounds pretty cute i know uh, we've got a new setup it's very different i'm sat down i've got a whole little industrial look going on i hope you guys like it give me some feedback in the comments section uh, but without further ado let's get on and open up this microphone so for those of you who don't know this is actually a microphone that is kind of aimed at and kind of marketed at professional recording and streaming so this is without a doubt targeted towards people like me who make gaming videos who want a nice quality microphone it's quite pricey but it's you know top end premium in terms of xlr input and all that good stuff so let's open up the box here and see what we got before we open the box actually i want to go over some of the features so we've got studio grade xlr connection that's great cool we've got a custom large diaphragm cardioid condenser capsule it's a bit of a tongue twister, but basically what that means is like where you stand in the microphone is where it captures the audio. It's pretty interesting. We've got 100 hertz low cut filter switch, which we can try later on today and a minus 20 pad. So if it's quite loud and you want to get really up close, you can do that as well. So cool. Let's open up the box. So we've got a nice little blue logo there. Looks kind of cool. You see that? Nice. Let's open it up. Whoa, dude, that looks good. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a, we've got a freaking box. We've got a freaking box in a box. It's an unboxing of a box. Let's get that out. I'm assuming that holds the microphone. Whoa, <laughs> but that looks pretty cool. We'll set that aside. Guide, whatever this little box is. And I and whatever, I think that's it. Cool, so we can get rid of the actual box. So first of all, let's open up this little white box here. I have no idea what's in it, but uh, let's give it a go. Probably a microphone input of some kind and the frame. Yes, okay, so yeah, there's the frame. It was actually really nice quality. Uh, let's just get, give you guys the juicy little close up there. Uh, but basically this is the frame the mic sits in to stop it getting vibrations if you knock the desk and things like that. Uh, this one has a similar one, uh, but it's nowhere near as good as this because this one has like a little bit of suspension. So that's a really nice frame. I really like that. And some branding on the actual Turner thing there. So that's very cool. And here we go. I've got to say, in terms of unboxing experience, this is very premium. I like this very much. So I'm going to unslide this. Oh, can you hear that? Okay, so it's got a uh, little certification of quality. Man, they really going over to the premium. A little bit of foam. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that in there. Oh, it's, it's actually much smaller than I thought. Wow. Okay. Dude, that has got to be the coolest microphone I've ever seen. So let's just get a little close up for you guys here. So it's much smaller than I thought in comparison to the one I'm using. That would be interesting to use. Uh, is there anything else in this box? No, okay, so that's it. So interestingly, it doesn't come with an XLR cable. However, it does come with a frame. Uh, out of the two things there, I definitely prefer the frame because a cable can cost you $20 or I don't know. It depends what size and what color and what quality, uh, but it can cost you nowhere near as much as a frame can. So that's a good thing. I'm happy about that. And obviously, I think a lot of people that buy microphones at certainly at this quality and grade, most people already have the cables. So you don't want another one. Uh, what you want is a frame that actually fits it. So, you know, fair play to them. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I really like the quality. It's got like a metallic color. It's got the two switches, the minus 20 pad, uh, if you want to reduce noise and then you've got the low cut as well very very nice it feels really premium dense and looks pretty cool hello and he's across the start line blah, 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 blah. obviously you wouldn't have it that close to your mouth yeah let me know in the comment section whether or not you think we should sell it up actually let's put it in the frame let's just twist this bottom bit there we go and there you go so yeah you'd have like a mount 
and it would sit there like that. I think it might not be the right size sort of thing for this channel, unless I get like a stand like that. Um, I kind of like the big bulky guy here, but in terms of unboxing, it's very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Look how cute it is. Now let's see what it sounds like. Let's uh, put it over something. Okay, so as you can see, I've uh, set up the audio here. Well, kind of, like I don't have a stand, but I've set it up in probably the distance you'd probably want it. Uh, I mean, you could pick it up and it will sound, and I'll be making lots of noise here, but you probably have it about this far apart. Whether or not that sounds good or not, I don't know, but um, doing my own testing, I think the microphone sounds really, really good. Sounds quite similar to the other blue microphone, but I think it's more suited to up close and personal, which is what a lot of commentaries and uh, commentators do. Um, but looking at the audio and testing it on my Mac here, uh, I'm sure you may or may not be able to tell from YouTube, but I can certainly tell from my own testing with headphones and stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it if you did. Can't annotation to show some other videos if you haven't seen my old setup. But this is the new one. Hit me up in the comment section what you think of it. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool mic. Oh, by the way, uh, there's links in the description to the products if you want to get them. Uh, to the blue mic and the Scala, which I'm using, and the cable. So if you want to have a setup just like this, Links in the description. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.